Hello. So, uh, my name is Lin Mu. I'm the co-founder and the CEO of Web3 Go Team. So, before I start, I would like to ask you, who, have, who of you have ever heard or used Web3 Go services? Oh, there are more than expected. Thank you. So, yesterday I asked several colleagues and friends. They mentioned that they have not heard about us. Yeah, but that's also expected. So, I'm going to introduce what we are doing. So, Web3 Go is basically a data player in Polkadot. So we, we have the very basic indexer, and uh, then, then we have the unified data platform. And growing on it, we have different services. So firstly, we have different dashboards, which finds the true value behind the data, especially in the Polkadot. And also, we extend it to EVM-based, and also we have in different other chains. Great. So this dashboard reveals the real, true value behind data. It can be like transactions. It can be DeFi values. It can be NFT values as well. Except for the dashboard for the normal users, we also have dashboard for business partners. So there are several big names in the space that we have separate contract with and developed dashboard for them. Yeah, great. Except for the dashboards, we also have the different APIs, which provides projects like Lentitree, Moonbeam to have their own uh, the app and used in their uh, services. Uh, except for these two parts, we also, in the big picture, uh, have the programmable automation infrastructure, which enables the developers to uh, create their own the app, use our services. So let's have a detailed look at what we have. So as I said, we have different dashboard uh, created for different Polkadot programs, like Moonbeam, Akala, Armarkey, or Bifrost. And we research in the data in different, different areas, like, uh, like transactions, or DeFi data, or staking data as well. Um, and except for this, we have also the self build dashboard, which means you can create your own dashboard using our interfaces. And except for all these three uh, areas, we also have the social ranking network as well as the automation platform, which we are going to introduce and emphasize today. So I hope that you are getting excited to have a look at what, what our uh, products and what we provide. So firstly, crowd loan. Crowd loan is a big topic in the Polkadot ecosystem, right? So everyone is trying to win the source. And let's have a look at what we have. So this is the dashboard we created. As you can see here, we show that the total contributions and total contributors, and also what is happening uh, in the history. As you can see, the trend, the delayed trend of different contributors and contributions. Uh, currently, we are in the bear market, so we can see that the, 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 um, in the space is not so active. And also, the trends of the contributions here. And here, we reveal the data that happened since the very beginning slot. As we can see, that in the first slot, Akala and the Moonbeam are competing with each other, and later on, the rest projects catch up and also several other data, which you are welcome to check on web3go.xyz. So what is hot now is the XCM and XC20 tokens. We also developed a dashboard for XC20 tokens, which I would like to share with you. So we have checked the overview on Moonbeam. As you can see here, there are the basic information of the XC20 tokens. And you can see the different, different tokens like XE Aka and XE USD and XE DOT and how they are distributed in the Moonbeam blockchain. And we also, we can see the trend that since beginning of May, the volume is increasing. I mean, now it's very promising future for the Polkadot as well. So, and we also have distributed that uh, checks the details on different contracts. As you can see here, we have different contracts like this in the Stellar Swap or, or Moonwell or the Lido Curve. And we also created this pine chart, which you can have in a very direct interview, which is visualized for you to get understand the get overview of what is happening at XEM. 
And we have more. We have really developed the most important parts for the information that happening in Polkadot. And we, for example, the staking in Moonbeam. Yeah, now you may see, great, you have already developed so many nice dashboards. And their data is unlimited, right? There are so many data in Polkadot. And how do you have the capacity that to develop thousands of different dashboards who are we are interested in? That's definitely a question. What our solution is, we provide these interfaces for normal users and developers to create their own dashboard, which will later on could be shared with the community. If someone felt that, OK, I need something more interesting, great, you can create your own dashboard, and it can be shared with the community. So that could be very nice, right? So now we have different dashboards. So we can tell the different values behind the data, and you can check what is happening in Polkadot or in other blockchains. And we also, you may also want to ask, who am I? And I also want to interact with other players or other crypto users in the space. So we have this social ranking access um, pair of chains. So we have two parts. So what it's trying to do is to interact people. Like, you can follow different uh, persons who you are interested in. And we also enable the social attributes behind the personal data. So basically, we have two parts for this. One is we build it for substrate based. Another one is for Moon River. The Moon River one is, is, is an isolated and a separated product called Moon ID. It's called moonid.web3go.xyz. Uh, I will not introduce that one in this case, but I will just show you what uh, we developed for substrate. So here it is. So Sean is very famous in our space. So we, as we can see here, his tokens and his assets on different chains. And here we have the different parachain card loans he took apart and the DeFi data as well as his NFT data here. So if you are interested, that you can follow him like uh, with his personal page or Twitter or etc. So now, the programmable automation infrastructure. So what is programmable automation infrastructure? Now we have a different dashboard. Now we have developed the, um, the social file products where you can show your profile and also, uh, also the future. So what, is, so what is the programmable automation infrastructure? So that is, sorry. Yeah, that is what, uh, so if you are a developer, if you are a developer and if you want to use data, so what will you do? So there are basically four steps. The first step is you create your own indexer that to fetch data. The second step is you sort the data and put data into different models. And the third step is you to grasp the data and give your own data requirements. And the fourth is to export the data to the outside space, for example, the dApps. So what we are trying to do in the, big in the big picture in the future is we want to enable you as a developer or as a normal user the possibility to create your own dApp, which is very easier. And we have done the step one, the step two, and the step four. And you just have to go give your own requirement and create your own DApp. So how did we achieve that? So firstly, we have the uh, data pub that we collect data and fetch the raw data uh, from different chains, like uh, from, from different relay chains and different uh, cross chains as well. And for example, uh, Ethereum and BLC. And then we created, the, so to say, the different plugins and our uniform uh, program interface. So with this, uniform, uh, with this uniform program interface that you can create your DApp very easily. So I know that from your face, I can see that most people are still very confused and what you are exactly doing for this, so to say, a big picture, so to say. Yeah, I will show you an example. It's the app that is created by our team. So 
Its name is a Moin Push, which we deployed it on Moin River, uh, Moin River blockchain. What it achieves is, so as a normal crypto user, uh, you may see that I don't have too much time to check your dashboard. I don't have too much time to check, or not too often, to check Twitter information for trading info or for anything else. So we have this push notification, which pushes you the notification theoretically within 15 seconds. So what have we achieved? Let's have a look at the product directly. So here is the moin push what we developed. If you click on set push, so currently we use our several of our plugins to, uh, to help you to monitor the different on-chain activities. For example, wallet monitor, gas, gas burned, which where you can find, OK, so now is the gas fee very low. I can do my trading. And also we have the data from the assets bridge and also for DEX values. So let's first take a look at uh, what the Walliter monitor is doing. So you can give the Walliter here, for example, the wallet of Elon Musk or Binance, and you can see, OK, what they have done. And if they have a big transaction, then you can follow them, make some profit, for example. And you can set here whether you send or receive over or smaller than 13 number of what kind of token you can get notified via either email or telegram or different other channels like twitter or slack so personally if you connect your wallet you can set your own template i already set it so let's have a look at how it works so let me transfer from the wallet which i already set it may take some time Yeah, so it's basically something that, as we said, we have this bigger picture, the, the, the automation infrastructure for you to enable you to use our, use our uh, services that create your, um, create your own the app easily. So it seems like the MetaMask does not want to work today. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a technical problem. So let's just skip this part. So theoretically, I have the demo here prepared for you that if I transfer from the wallet, my vinyl my wallet to uh, outside, like over 0 0.01 uh, Moon River token, and it will show the notice directly uh, on Telegram here in our uh, bot. And it will show the information that how many tokens have you already uh, transferred and what's happening theoretically within 15 seconds. So here is our value, the value chain. So as we said, we have this different dashboard that we reveal the data value behind different chains. And you can use our dashboard to find the re uh, true value and do your, uh, for your, for your uh, suggestion. And also, as a player of the Web3 Go ecosystem, you can mint your ID. You can interact with the SocialFi product, so to see, just to show your profile sense. And also, you can develop your own DevApp using our service, like the active push what we developed. So now, as a developer, or as a normal user, or even as a KOL, or, or other players, then you can interact with our system easily and in convenience. Uh, in parallel, we have this bounty, uh, bounty platform, which enables you to give your community tasks. For example, it can either from us or from you projects that you give your tasks and the community will take it. And when they finish it, they can get some rewards correspondingly. So this is the value what we provide to the Polkadot system. So firstly, as we said, we have an analytics dashboard then for you. And secondly, we have, uh, you can build your own dashboard. And thirdly, uh, we provide APIs for different projects to use. And the lastly, we have this interfaces and big picture. So 
Thank you so much for listening. And before I terminate my uh, presentation, I just have two, two, less, uh, two sentences to speak furthermore. First, we are, uh, our team is hiring. Uh, we have different open positions like development positions as well as marketing positions. So you are very welcomed or your friends are welcome to join us. The secondly is so let's stand together, let's build together for Polkadot and for Web3. Thank you so much.